I'm Dominique and welcome to my channel. I just got through um, security at the JFK airport and now I'm waiting for my flight to Spain. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome on your Quality Airlines and Star Alliance flight. Wait, coming through security, something showed up on the scanner, you know what I went through? On my crotch, lit up right on my crotch. And so I had to see under the sun, someone had to pat me down. Of course there was nothing there, I'm not really sure what I saw, maybe just a zipper. But I'm just waiting for the flight to board. It's currently 10 p.m. The flight takes off at 11. And I would like to remind you that it is mandatory to wear a protective mask correctly and to keep the safe social distance during the entire journey. Thank you for your cooperation. We wish you a pleasant flight. Alright, I pretty much just talked while that whole entire announcement was going off. But I take off at 11 and I get in about noon. Um, the ticket from JFK to Madrid was about $200. Okay. I did have to pay a baggage. Um, the only things I have with me are my backpack and one suitcase. It wasn't even 20 kilos, but it was very close, 18.8. It was uh, approximately 41 pounds. I did convert it to see how much it was um, and guess how much it cost for that one suitcase. $80. Yeah. Right now I'm just charging my phone a little bit before I board the plane. Um, I have a neck pillow that my mom got me. It is so comfy. It like has like grooves for your shoulder and it's just like perfect for your neck so you can stay up, you can fall asleep, your head's not gonna bobble all over the place. Uh, I'm definitely a famous sleep bobblehead person. Like I fall asleep so quick and then I'm just like oh It's as long as I need to sleep, but I'm still gonna try and be comfy, but I'm definitely a bobblehead. Um, okay, so once I get to Spain, then I'm gonna chill for a second and then head to my hostel. I can't really check in until three, so when I get to Spain, I know that I'm gonna be hungry. Definitely gotta get some food. And then, um, chill, do some business things, some work, and then I'll catch my ride to the hostel, we'll check in. I'm not really sure how I'm going to be feeling as far as, like, jet lag and stuff. It is six hours ahead. Um, I'm definitely going to be sleeping, <laughs> hopefully this entire flight because it is nighttime, so that's nice. You know, it's not gonna affect my sleep pattern too much. Um, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be feeling tired tomorrow or anything. I didn't book anything crazy. I just kept it a light day just because I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling. But tomorrow, all I have booked is a walking tour at about 6 p.m. I did try and look for one in English, but I found one in Spanish. No, I'm not fluent in Spanish. I can understand just a little bit, but is going to be great. I'm going to see beautiful parts of Madrid. Okay, but after the tour, then I'm probably just going to chill, hang out, and then honestly, I'm just keeping it light tomorrow. Um, See what lays ahead of me for this adventure. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this day that I can just pack up and leave for a while, honestly. I joined the military in 2016. I had a countdown for the moment that my contract was going to be over. And in that time, I knew that my next move, <clears throat> that it was going to be to just be a nomad in travel world. And literally just experience life, learn things, and just find the beauty out there. 
I know we can get dragged down by all the negative things and just all the things that's happening, but we can control what we give our energy to, and we gotta give it to those positive experiences, remain open, have an open heart, lead with love. I forgot the thing that I wanted to talk about most. Okay, so as far as the boarding process, you know, I booked my flight through American Airlines, actually. I have some flight credits, but the flight is with Iberia, and I'm standing in line, and, you know, COVID times. You had to go to this QR code, and you had to go to the official website for Spain, and you had to put in all your information and your COVID details, um, just so it could generate you a QR code so that you were able just to travel to the country. It wasn't too difficult of a process. It was maybe like a six page questionnaire just asking some details about you, your home address, um, your passport, your COVID details, where you'll be staying, things like that. Um, and then you get to the ticket counter, they ask for your passport, they ask to see the QR code. I don't know if they're going to ask for the QR code anywhere else, you know, like as soon as I get to the the next airport or even as I'm boarding the plane, I'm not sure if they're going to ask for the QR code, but I didn't have to get that. And then when I do arrive in Spain, I do need to show them I I do need to show them my vaccine card and then I can get the EU QR code for COVID so that I'm allowed places while I'm traveling throughout the EU. Well, that's kind of all I have for now. Dominique signing off, getting on this plane soon, and the next time I'll see you, I'll be in Madrid.
probably got to my hostel about three. There was also an issue with the first train. It was like a little late. We ended up taking a different one. There was this one train coming on the other side that we were all waiting for. And then they basically went out of service and then we had to wait for this other train. So about an hour, we waited to catch the train. And you know, went on our merry little way. I already checked into the hostel, took a little body shower from the time to adventure. So, we'll see where the day takes me. It's only three. It is 1700. The sunset isn't until 1900. We got some hours until the sun goes down, baby. Can't wait. <laughs> Dominique, 
the motherfucking explorer, bitch. Dominique, the motherfucking traveler, the wanderer, the nomad, the free spirit. <laughs> wow. I'm just sitting in this park in Spain right now and I'm just living. I'm here for it. The San Miguel Market. I just drop a pin, pick a place, and go to it. I always like have to remember what it's called. But I'm still your lovely tour guide. honest I'm gonna save the market for another video stay tuned and honestly for the first day of Spain we had fun stay tuned next time if you liked anything in this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time